So why would you want to dampen the snare drum and make it not ring as much? You might want to control that ring slightly. That's like a three second ring. So the most extreme thing you can do is completely cover that drum up. And it's rumored that the Beatles or Ringo Starr used to play with tea towels on his drum. And I've always wanted to try that. So here's one of our best tea towels. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Anyway, let's put that over the drum. So that's going to take a lot of that ring out, most of the ring. Let's just tighten the snares up a bit. Hopefully you can hear that's completely dead. So if you're on a gig or playing live, that's probably not going to be the best thing. But in a studio where no one can see it, um, or you could maybe cut a circle out of some material and tape it down so you don't get your sticks caught under it. Um, maybe that might work for you with your sound. But as I say, that's pretty extreme. There is a more sort of professional way of damping a drum down, and that's with something called tone gel. Um, one manufacturer is called moon gel, but another manufacturer, the one that I've got at the moment, is Winsent, and it comes in a little box like that. And when you open the box, Basically you get these like kind of little jelly slabs that are quite sticky. Let's hold that up to the camera. It's like quite sticky. It, it would stick on your hand. Yeah. Um, I've just washed these. That's one of the good things is you, you, you can wash them because um, you'll get a lot of debris from the snare, your sticks, dust, um, this coating that comes off the snare drum, that can all just stick and eventually it it won't stick. So I usually put that just slightly on the left, just under my hi-hat. This is playing the role of my hi-hat at the moment. Okay, um, so let's see the, the different effects of that. So can you hear that slightly taking that ring out? That's before. That's after. Definitely taking that ring out. You can obviously put more than one bit on. You know, I usually, I, I also for the toms, just cut them in half. Let's put another bit on. Okay, this is with another bit. Okay, so not quite as dead as um, the tea towel, but much more practical. So sticky, it stuck to my hand. Now in the UK, uh, a box of that is, I think, seven or eight pounds, um, and you get about five, five of these pieces in. So we take them all off. So that was three pieces. Really ringy drum. So quite different. If you haven't got the money to, or you don't want to go and get anything like that, you can, let's just put these back in the box, use what I know is as gaffer tape or duct tape, okay? So you can use, you could just use a strip of that. You could whack that on your drum, okay? And that'll take some of the tone out. The problem with this is if you leave it on your drum, it tends to go a bit sticky or it just kind of, you can't, it's really hard to get off. You could either take it off each time. Um, I've seen people make little, tubes out of it and that might take a bit more of the sound out just stick that on your drum there just where we put that that uh wincent gel okay that's with that it's not quite as good as a dampening meth method um you can make these little kind of ruffles if you put a bit on the drum and then it's like feather the edge make these little fins so that the sound can go up into the fins. Quite dead. Still not as good probably as the own gel. Um, so you could do loads of that, or you can fold a bit of kitchen roll up, a kitchen towel, okay, and then get your tape again. It's good gaffer tapes, it just rips like that. You can put that under there. This is just quick. 
you can make it neat, neater. Okay, that's pretty dead. So um, that's probably, if you're playing in your bedroom, if you're young, you've got a bedroom kit, that's probably a good idea, you get a nicer sound. I was saying in my one of my other videos about tuning drums, um, that is one of the things that makes it the drums sound a bit more like you hear drums on records that you've heard. So like a bit, bit more dead and tight. Let's try this way actually. So if you use a bit of the tape itself and make a little square, okay, and then put that underneath. Put that this side. So. Put that over my mouth. So that's quite dead. So that's a cheaper way of doing it. If you've got any of this gaffer tape, you could use masking tape. You could even use sellotape, but this is kind of like a music industry standard. Put the gaffer tape roll on. Another method, getting covered in this, is to use what's called a zero ring. A zero ring is like a round circle of plastic which just fits inside the drum head. Um, now when I've played with those, I tend to end up hooking the plastic up and it f flies off the drum. You can obviously tape them. You could cut a bit and cut one in half. So you've just got a semicircle and gaffer tape that round down. Um, but again, it's, it's harder then to just change that dampening and take that off the drum uh, and put it back on quickly. So the best method I think out of the out of all those is this tone gel, whatever make you, you want. Dampening drums down, snares and toms and floor toms, that's fine with stuff like that. With a bass drum, if you've got a new kit, um, try and take one of the heads off, maybe the back head, and put a pillow so it just touches the front head and the back head until you've achieved the required amount of dampening. You can get special front heads that have foam on the, either the inside or the outside. Um, I've got a head I use that has a kind of press stud piece that press studs onto the drum if you want a damp drum or you can take it off and then it obviously doesn't damp the drum down as much. So I hope you, so I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Please give us a thumbs up if you're on YouTube, just down below. Uh, give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash get on the drums. But most importantly, head over to my website, getonthedrums.com and sign up for my mailing list. Have fun drumming and don't forget, get on the drums.